What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys. Now, today in this video, I want to show you guys how you can remove unwanted adware that displays pop ups and ads and graphics on your Mac. Now, in the past, I've uploaded some videos on how to remove spyware, malware, and adware and pop ups and stuff like that from your Mac. But that video was more for like when you turn on your Mac, you get these pop ups and adware and stuff that you have displayed on your desktop here as soon as you turn your Mac on. Now that video was very successful on YouTube and I helped a ton of people with that video. And hopefully you'll see that video as well. If you haven't seen the video, I suggest that you watch that video first. So I will be sure to put an annotation on this video so you can click on it and watch that video first. So you can remove those adware and spyware and bad pop-ups or whatever it is you're getting on your Mac. If that doesn't work, then you can watch this video. Now, again, for this video, this video is for the pop-ups and graphics that you get when you open up your search engines, such as Google Chrome, Safari, and Firefox, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna say it again, if you're getting pop-ups and adware and graphics displayed within the search engine, we want to check out Safari, which is going to be in this video. So this is gonna be for Safari. I may make one for Google Chrome and Firefox as well, but right now this is just gonna be for Safari. So let's begin. The first thing we want to do here is open up our Safari. Let's close this down here. Now, I want you to just basically follow along this video. It shouldn't be too long. I think the last video I put up was like maybe like eight minutes, seven minutes or something like that. But this video will really help you if you're getting pop up. So just try to follow along if you have to rewind the video or whatever. Go back, you know, skip, you know, that's fine. Pause, whatever you want to do. Totally up to you. I just basically want you all to use these instructions I'm about to give to you to uninstall or remove the adware injunction software that sometimes are called adware. So that's what they call it. So, all right. The first thing we want to do here is check the Safari settings and extensions. For instance, go up to where it says Safari. Like so, once you're there, choose preferences. Once you have chosen preferences, I want you to just basically follow these steps. First, I want you to just click on your general here. And always make sure that your home page here field contains the website that you want. For instance, you see mine is https colon slash slash www.google.com slash. That's the home page that I currently use every day to do all my searches when I'm inside Safari. Some people like to use Apple web page. Some people like to use Google or whatever it is that you have chosen for your home page. Just make sure that it's correct here in your field. All right. Now, I want you to click on your search icon and make sure that the search engine setting shows your preferred search engine. So click on your search here like so. Now, right here where it says search engine, you can click on it and you can choose the one that you like. Some people like to use Yahoo or DuckDuckGo. It's totally up to you. I've used DuckDuckGo in the past. It's pretty cool, but uh, I prefer to use just Google. Google is fine. So, uh, yeah, just choose the one that you want and make sure that that is correct as far as for your search engine here. After that, we can move over to our extensions icon. That will be right here, the blue one, the little puzzle icon. So once you're under your extensions here, just basically make sure that all of the extensions that you have on the left hand side is correct, such as ones that you know that you install, because from time to time you may go by a website that may install a plugin or something like that in the background without you knowing as far as like an extension. So if you get plugins installed in the background by itself or extensions or anything like that, just make sure that everything on the left hand just make sure that everything on the left hand side here is correct, such as the ones you install. So if you see something that you do not recognize and you don't know what it is, you can just click it like so and uninstall it. These two I installed myself, so I'm gonna leave those as is. So we just wanted to just check your extensions here inside your preferences under Safari. So now that we have that all checked off, we can move on to the next steps. Close that down, we're done with that. Now, we're gonna close down Safari here. 
Now, with these next steps I want to give you all, this is going to be how to remove certain ad injunction software. So, for this, you would have to open up your finder. Again, just follow along, pause the video, or go back if you have to. That's fine. I'm going to open this up a little bit for you here. Again, I'm sorry if this video is too long. I try to keep my videos really short and straight to the point. But when it comes to making videos on how to remove AdWords and spyware without all of that junk software that we can download off the internet, it tends to make my videos a little longer. So I'm sorry about that. But I'm showing you guys how to do this without the software because you can manually do this on your own. All right, we're going to remove those ad injunctions and software that you may have hiding inside your finder that you do not know about. So we want to use this go to method here to find and remove each item that is listed in the sections that I'm about to show you here. One item at a time now, okay? So we're going to do one item at a time. It's a lot of items here, so <laughs> I'm going to basically copy and paste all of the items that I want you guys to look for and find on your Mac inside finder down below in the description. So if you just look down below this video in the description field here, you'll see all of the items that I want you to look for and I want you to get rid of. Okay. Now, once you have find to open, what I want you all to do is go to your go to folder. In order to go to your go to folder, you want to come up to where it says go. Well, first view. And I want you to, you know, show everything as columns here. Once you're showing everything as columns, I want you to go up to where it says go. Now come down to where it says go to folder. Now, you want to just clear this out here by just basically highlighting everything and deleting. Now I'm going to open up my text editor here because I've made a ton, a ton of different adware, malware, and spyware ads that you can find on your Mac. Now, as you can see here, it's a bunch. So basically, look at everyone here in the text edit field here that I have for you all. And I want you to just basically copy and paste everyone inside your go to folder and search your go. Now, if it says that the folder cannot be found, that is perfect. You're all good. That means you do not have that adware on your Mac. So that's good. Delete it and just go to the next. So I'm just going to choose one down here below. Uh, here we go. Choose this one. And hopefully I don't find anything. I clean my Mac out a lot, like maybe like once or twice a month. And I'm also careful when viewing certain web pages and, you know, when I'm buying certain items offline when I'm shopping. So we're going to do a paste here. The folder cannot be found. Now, in some cases, when you search for it, it'll take you to that folder. That's okay, because if it do, I want you to just basically take that folder, trash it. Now, once you trash all of these items that you find on your Mac here, and hopefully you shouldn't find that many, but let's just say if you found one that was uh, inside your library launch agents folder here and you found this one here. If you found this one, I want you to just basically, you know, delete it. Alert from okay. There. Now, once you delete the ones that you find on your Mac, I want you to restart your Mac. Once you restart your Mac after you have found these bad adwares on your Mac and pop ups and everything, I want you to restart your Mac. Everything should be in your trash can by then. So delete it, restart your Mac. Once your Mac restarts, I want you to right click and empty your trash. Once you empty your trash, restart your Mac again and everything should be perfect. Again, we're going to search for that bad file like so. We're going to copy and paste. We're going to do the go. Let's see if we can find one. Okay, it's taking a minute here. And if it finds it, okay, the folder cannot be found. But if it did find that folder, again, I'll delete it, restart my Mac, empty my trash can, restart my Mac again, and use it as normal. Those pop-ups should be gone. Now, again, for the ones that did not see my previous video on how to remove adware and spyware and malware and pop-ups from your Mac, please click on that link so you can see that video because this video is just for the people that's out there in the world that's still having problems on their Mac because I've had hundreds of people to watch that video, but
but then still come back to me and say, hey, Big B, you know, I'm still getting pop ups on my Mac. What should I do? That's why I'm making this video for the ones that's still having problems. Now, I also had a lot of people that watched that video and said, hey, thanks for the video. You know, it was great. It was very helpful. I have no pop ups, and no adware on my Mac whatsoever. My Mac is much faster because it also makes your Mac much faster when you get rid of those files that you don't need. That's just in the background lingering around, you know, destroying your Mac slowly, making it slow over time. So I had people, you know, that was cool with the video that it actually helped. And I had some people, you know, that it really didn't help too much. So that's why I'm making this video. I'm just trying to give you guys all of the information that I know that can help you all, you know, just to keep you from going to see an Apple genius at an Apple store. So that's why I'm here, you know, to give you the information of what you can do at home just before you take it in to go pay all that money, you know, for something so simple that you can just do yourself at home. So my name is Big B Production 100, AKA Brian Feaster. I hope this video was very informative for you all. If so, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll let you.